and a warm welcome to the Catalan capital, Barcelona. Our action comes to you from the RCDE Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Espanyol, and they face Elche. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers, and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. This is how the visitors will set up today. Play, protect the two centre-backs. It will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And they kick off here. A creative look about this. Using his strength to shield the ball. Jay Thomas! In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal! Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. And back underway. 1-0 it is. forward can he put it away and pushed onto the woodwork well read to win possession back he takes aim determined defending well they're showing great energy here and that's being matched by the fans what an atmosphere well, showing good defensive judgment Good physical play. Could it keep the ball? De Thomas. Oh, a lovely ball. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. It needs an accurate cross. Bad pass. Getting in there to take it away. It might be on for them. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. He could pick out a teammate. Baragan, Raul Guti, are certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. 
Ivan Marconi. Chance to do damage. But they dealt with the threat posed. Poussin. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Not a particularly strong challenge. Now defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Darder. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, it's amazing how fans can be so blinkered with their views. They're going mad here. In the right place to cut out the pass. Moving into the advanced position. And he takes on the shot. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And I must say that's very good refereeing. Going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. Trying to pick out a teammate. Danger averted. Cross towards that far post. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And caught by the keeper. Well, half-time coming up shortly. And the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Puado. This is Loren. Vidal. And the no nonsense clearance. Oh, big opportunity. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Darder. Puado, excellent passing. Throw-ins given. Useful ball to the near post. And clears his lines. Ivan Marconi. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Piazzi. Marconi on the ball. Can he make it count? Could be. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Who's going to get on the end of it? And the danger's still on. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. A story. It's with Sergi Darder. And played the pass well. Pedrosa. Darder. Could be troublesome. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Good pressure high up the pitch. 
Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Loren. And they find a gap in the defence. Real chance. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, a second goal for them here. Thomas, you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. The free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. And options in the centre. Superb block. Baragan. Raul Guti. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. And they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Pastore. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No nonsense clearance. It looks promising. Pastore cuts it back. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Can someone get on the end of this? And he clears the danger. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, 
nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? An example of how to press. Raul Guti. The cross is on. Baragan. Magnificent defending. Breaking at pace. Getting forward. They really look after the ball when they have it. Dangerous ball. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. De Tomas. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Ivan Marconi. Losing possession. He's going forward well here. Alex Vidal. Vidal. Guado. It needs an accurate cross. It is to be a throw in. Substitution time it is here. Vidal. Guado. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Vidal. Space and time for the cross. St. Thomas! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? He's driven in the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part and going forward there were some really nice incisive plays as well good result for them well it's normal to have high expectations where loren is concerned stuart what did you make of the part he played well he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well he scored a good goal and they won the game an excellent day all round